and so adorable as Jim Shore's pieces are. This is our Jim Shore Heartwood Creek six inch holiday gnome. And he's going for a little ski down the ski hill. So, um, you know, it is the ski sin. That's what you named this piece. Oh, it's so is, cute, uh, under $40, six inches tall. Do you know I love a good pun? Well, I do too, a good play on words, you know. <laughs> it's the ski a little sin. clever, a little something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit about your inspiration. I know you do quite a bit of gnomes in your collection. Well, I'll tell you, the, the whole thing of doing the gnomes started actually by accident. I was doing, uh, in between some of my more major, you know, projects, um, I have a little downtime sometimes, and <laughs> my way of relaxing is working on something different. Okay, you know? okay. And so I stay busy. Because it doesn't so. feel like work. <laughs> Well, none of this feels like work, yeah. to tell you the truth. Oh. I mean, it's a labor of that I just love. I, well, I just love doing it. You know, I'm driven to do it. You know, yeah. I do it every day. I mean, I, I can't wait to get up and see, I wonder what I'm going to do today, you know? Yeah. The creativity and everything. And it, that's so much part of my life and my so family sweet. and all that. So what happened was, in between a couple of these projects, I said, I'm going to quiddle out something to... Uh, to entertain the grandkids, so I made the, the several of these things that look like a uh, look like a upside down uh, uh, ice cream cone with sure. a nose, you know, <laughs> and uh, and I showed it to them and they just oh, they just loved it, you know. They said, uh, "You got to put it on the line." I said, "You know, it's a silly little thing, and I'm not sure, you know." We put it on the line and it took off like a rocket, you know. Mm -hmm. So between that time and now, I've probably done uh, maybe 300 or 350. Uh, gnomes. I'm not wow. sure the exact number, but we've done gnomes. Everything that is that we can think of that it would be interesting, you know, to do as a gnome, we've done. We've mm -hmm. done gnomes around the world. We've done athlete oh, athlete gnomes. We've done uh, gnomes in the garden, gnomes in the kitchen, gnomes that you know. And here we got gnomes on the ski slope. You know. Well, I didn't gnome that they love to ski. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> But look how sweet. And you can tell this little gnome doesn't just tackle the bunny hill. He goes to the black diamond. Because you can tell the little buffalo check. It's you a are, subtle little uh, clue you, that he's a pro skier. I'm going to write some of this stuff down. I'm going to use this good After material. After I retire, I'll come find you and share all my yeah, puns. You're going to be here all week, right? But you know, the detail, like, even when we were looking at uh, our beautiful angel, the Grinch ornament that we saw, the inch, like, you kind of overall, you look at the, the <coughs> figurine and it just immediately warms your heart. But when you take that second, look at the little curls of the hair. Well, see, one of the differences is, you know, and this, see, early on, when I, when I first introduced Heartwood Creek, mm -hmm. in the gift industry, or in my industry as an artist, the, the most important thing that is originality. So, yeah. That's what gets you to the starting line. Yeah. And see, my the, my form of originality was to take things that were normally very mild and neutral, like well, like like the angels back then. They were either white or light blue, or sure. and then a, the a snowman was just white. You know, <laughs> three balls, three three white balls. You right. Know? Well, and, and even Santa Claus, you know, red, green, what you know, it was a white trim, and, and that was it. Well, my idea was to take the images, which I knew I could create and carve. Uh, you know, some interesting shapes, you know, mm -hmm. as far as angels or, or Santas or whatever. And then I was going, I said, I, I love folk art so much. I'm going to take all mm -hmm. the elements of folk art and I'm going to put them on these things, whether it makes any difference or what, whether it applies to Christmas or not, or, you know, throw green and white out the window and, and replace it with all the colors that I do, you know. And uh, and that's what that's what made it uh, that's what made it interesting and right. that's what made it original so and perfect. so something like this if it were a monochromatic it'd be it would look okay but it wouldn't have the interest that mm -hmm. you know where the the detailing and the colorway and the balance yeah. and the the rhythm and the syncopation and all that the composition and all that stuff yeah. that goes together to make a silly little thing like this <laughs> comport to everything that is that goes into fine art. It's beautiful. You know? It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. And you know, when you think about, you've got, it's two and a half inches in its width and then about six and a quarter inches high. Do you know what might happen or what could happen okay. in your home? Do the can't, grandkids come and stay at your it. house? What if Christmas morning, because one year Santa delivered a mini tree to each of the kids' bedrooms. Oh. And some years he delivers a little present. 
Well, what if when they wake up in the morning underneath the little tree or sitting on their nightstand, you have the darling little gnome and it's a decoration for them to have well, in their room or part of your Christmas village if you that you put set a, up every if, year. If you want to put a smile on a kid's face, you know, show them one of these things. Yes. I mean, they're... And you can be a kid too that needs a yeah, smile. Yeah, makes me smile. Right? <laughs> hey, I, you know, and that's why I think I love your pieces. My children love them. They also, though, bring out the kid in all of us. And in this day and age, I think sometimes we need to be reminded of that, right? right. Especially a you know, busy day today, we're all gonna be hustling around and probably going back and forth between QVC and the news and all those things. But here's what I want you to do. Remember the joy, right? The joy of just being a kid, the joy of also appreciating art and sharing that joy. A beautiful gift for under $40, $39.98. That's our special sale price and three easy payments because tis the ski sin. <laughs> Gee, my Christmas. Uh, it's okay. so good. You named it. I'm just 